guys, thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to be playing around with some new makeup that came in from PR. A lot of these things I'm super excited about and when I get excited about something that's when I film a video. So that's why I'm here. I just want to do like an easier look but definitely not, you know, supernatural. Like I still want to play with some colors since I do have a lot of things from ColourPop. Their stuff is so good, you guys. And I'm still going to do like a really luminous base. So I'm going to actually do a little bit of skin prep. I'm going to use some hyaluronic acid. This is the one by Ledoux. And I'm so proud of my best friend. This is her line. So um, I've been really loving this product. It has a lot of body to it for like a hyaluronic acid. It's not like super watery, but again, it's not like super sticky. A lot of my looks, I really concentrate on luminous skin. So it really does start with like the skin prep. So next, following that, I'm going to be using this by Asarai. I think that's how you say it. This is so this is their power trip oil and it's so nice i've been absolutely loving it i like to warm it up in my hands like this and then i just press it onto my face just to just so that it really penetrates nicely pat 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 pat, pat. and then i'm gonna follow up with a primer i'm gonna be using this one by the ordinary and if you guys keep up with like beauty news this primer is so nice I love to use it here where my pores tend to show up a bit more and it literally makes your foundation last all day. I wouldn't recommend using this solely just because, I don't know, silicone. I feel like silicone can be kind of bad for congested skin, which I do have here. So I try not to use it as much, but it's hard to lay off because it is so good. Um, I really, really notice a huge difference when I use that with when I use this with my foundation. I'm gonna be using this, the nude sticks. Let me see what these look like. We're gonna experience this together. Um, ooh, they're so cute. I love nude sticks. Take this brush and blend it out. And then I'll take a beauty blender. That, that looks so nice. It's still very, I thought it was gonna be very matte, but it's a very natural finish. It's not like super dewy, but you can still see. And it still covers, like I feel like I have a veil of evenness now, right? I feel like I've been using non-stop this Laura Mercier concealer because I love it. But let's go ahead and try to use the light under here. They gave me a light and a dark, so I'm assuming it's like to contour and highlight. It feels so nice on the skin. It's so incredibly lightweight. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do my brows. I'm gonna use this one. I've been loving this pencil. It's the Ferocious by The Bomb. I love their like cheesy packaging, I don't know. It's so cute. And I really need to get these babies done. I feel like every video I'm saying that because they grow in a week. <laughs> I like hate filling in my brows at this stage because it's hard. I don't know, it's like really hard because they're so thick. Like I don't mean thickness, like this always stays the same, but like the actual like thickness this way. I always get them trimmed and I don't trust doing them myself. Like you see how it doesn't fill in? It's because there's too much hair. And then I'm just gonna coat that with a bit of boy brow. This is in brown. I need to order another clear one because I ran out. Out. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to use this palette here, this little quad from ColourPop. It's the Full Moon Foursome. <laughs> I just swatched some of them right now and I love this color here. It's called Daybreak. So it does have like a lot of sheen. I just love how like satiny these are. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one first though. This is called Acorn and we're gonna apply that all over the lid with a brush and it's really good to use like a synthetic brush. I'm gonna use this one by Luxie. So I'm just gonna pat that right up here. Just really soft and pretty. I'm gonna take another Super Shock Shadow to a T. It's a bit warmer. I really love this. I used this the other night actually. Yeah, I really like to like blow it up in here into my brow. I like putting shadow down here too because it helps to, you know, 
smooth that out without having to apply like powder. I hate putting on powder. So now I'm gonna take a denser brush and I'm gonna use Daybreak, which was the shade that I was really loving. I feel like you can all honestly just use this all over the lid. I love to mix like a warmer tone in the crease because I feel like I look better with warm tones as opposed to just cool tones, which this is a really cool tone shadow. That's why I warmed up that crease. It's so pretty. Clay Smudge Brush by Laura Mercier. I'm gonna take the Daybreak shadow again and just smudge under my lower lash line. I love this kind of like smudgy, lived in look, especially this color is perfect. Like I would totally stop here and put on mascara, like grip some mascara and I'd be good. But, you know, we're gonna kick it up a little bit more. So with another shadow from the Full Moon palette, this is called Fairfax. And I'm gonna take this definer, flat definer brush. Do, 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 do. was not doing crap. And then I have the Summer Solstice palette as well from ColourPop. So this is the Super Shock Shadow in Lightning Bug. And I just want to have like a little bit of gold right here. Just to, I don't know, make it a little more interesting, I guess. And I'm just going to take it first on my finger and just place that on the inner corner. Just for like a little pop. I also wanted to show you guys Ladybird, which is also in the Full Moon Quad. So this is the color, it's so pretty. Just in case you guys wanted to get that, you see exactly what comes in there. It's so pretty, it's more of like a silvery. So for concealer, I'm not, I wasn't crazy about the Nude 6 concealer. I do like it all over my face, but I'm just gonna quickly kind of cover some of these little blemishes here. Kind of cleaning all of this up as well, under the eye. So I'm actually gonna finish up my eye really quick and then I'll go into my bronzer and all of that. But this is the new Milk Kush Mascara. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already saw like my first impressions. This thing is so substantial. I actually love the packaging. And it is made with CBD oil, so it's very conditioning. You know how sometimes mascara can be very drying and it feels crunchy and you can't wait to get it off. This feels very weightless. And most of the time mascara, you can't really like keep coating because you know, it'll start flaking off and stuff. This one, you can go in for more. Actually, because I did attend this milk event for the launch of this product, I got hooked up with a ton of new milk makeup. You guys know I love milk makeup here. I did a full face of milk makeup uh, about a year ago maybe, or I don't know. I don't know how many months ago, but it's been a minute. So let me know if you would like to see an updated full milk makeup routine because they gave me a lot of new products from the line and I'd love to try them out if you guys are down. Hella dramatic, right? <laughs> Just gonna clean up this mascara. I'm always so messy because they're long. Like they literally touch my eyebrows. So now let's move on to some contour. Nude Six actually sent me a deeper shade of that same blur tint that I've been wearing. So let's give this one a whirl. Looks like that. It does look a little bit more like reddish as opposed to gray to contour, but we'll see. Ooh. Glides on so pretty. I really like this formula. We'll just do that. I love when it sticks. I like kind of get carried away with contour because I usually don't contour like this, but you know, we will give it a go. And I'm just gonna use this brush to blend it out. This is the Natural Face Palette by Too Faced, and it has all of these beautiful blush tones. Um, this is my jam right here, Sunny Honey. That's what we're gonna be using right now. 
hit these cheeks. It's such a beautiful warm shade. Like it's like a mix of bronzer with like a hint of rosiness. I love this. I absolutely love these. All these shades are beautiful. It's like if I had a trip, I would just bring this as my blush palette because it has everything. And it has like these really pretty satiny colors as well, like highlighter colors. But I am gonna double up on bronzers. I absolutely love, this is like the bronzer I've been reaching for. Um, powder bronzer, I should say. These make, I love this brand as well. So they sent their new bronzers to me and I've been testing them out and I think they're available now. Um, and they're inspired by Southwest Deserts. I have both shades that they sent, Joshua Tree and Marfa. I, these are the two. This one's like more red and this one's more of a yellow undertone. Oh, and I still have bronzer here. Such a dork. So for highlighter, I'm gonna take Wisp. I love this. I'm gonna take it on my Fenty brush, which I love this brush. Highly recommend it. It does really hug your cheek so easily and it just creates the perfect highlight. And then I love to take it with my finger just to make it a little bit more potent. Again, I love working with my hands. I feel like it makes a big difference on how the product performs. Especially ColourPop, like these super shock kind of creamy formulas that are in powder form. I'm just gonna hit right there. You see how much more it shows up? And then with the brush, I'm just gonna blend it out like that. And I'm actually gonna take a little hit of it right in my inner corner as well, just to make it pop even more. I know I'm crazy, but that could be. Beaming. So I'm gonna try this one. This is called Pout About It, and I love this color. This is from the new Too Faced Natural Nudes lipstick collection. And I really love Birthday Suit from the lipstick collection as well. And then we're gonna take Wisp one more time. So I'm gonna take it with this fan brush. And then I'm just gonna set everything with this e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. I really like this setting spray. So that is my finished look. I like to keep it very glowy around here. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me and playing around with all these new products, well, that are new to me, but I think also new on the scene. Like a lot of these things have just came out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if there's anything that you see that I unbox on my Instagram stories that I get from PR that you would like to see a look with or a review on, etc. So yeah, just let me know. You just DM me. I know some of you guys do and I love that. So keep doing so. <laughs> And also stay tuned for some giveaways because I shop a lot actually and I'll purchase things and then later on the brand will send me and gift me some stuff so I have a lot of doubles. So I'd love to share that with you guys. I'm gonna do like multiple giveaways so definitely stay tuned for that. I think I'll announce it in my next video and definitely on my Instagram. Hello? Why am I such a chicken? Okay. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.